Hi guys, this is a game between one of the greatest chess player of all time, former Russian world chess champion Garry Kasparov against the former Georgian women's world chess champion from the years 1978 to 1991, Maya Chibordanitsa. Hopefully I pronounced her last name correctly. Here we go. D4, Knight F6, C4, G6, Knight C3, Bishop G7, E4, D6. This is the King's Indian defense. In in this opening, Black let White get the center pawns, and in return, Black will try to target it later. Or in this game, Black was able to force White to close the center. D6, knight f3, castle, bishop e2, e5, bishop e3. This is the uh, bishop e3 version, I think it's the Gligorich system. And after queen e7, Maya played queen e7. Here, the most popular line today is knight g4. After queen e7, Gary played d5 because black is threatening to take the pawn on d4 followed by knight takes e4. So Gary played d5, d5, bishop g4, oh knight g4, bishop g5, f6, bishop h4, h5. Black has a threat of playing g5 and h4, trapping the bishop. So Gary played h3, kicking the knight out. Knight h6, knight d2, c5, knight f1, knight f7, and g4. So, why did white play g4? White wanted to exchange its bad light squared bishop, this one, against black's good bishop on g4. Keep in mind that if you have a bad bishop, there are three ways you can deal with it. First, you need to figure out how to exchange it against your opponent's pieces. Second is move it out of your pawn chain. And the third way is to improve, uh, is to move your pawns on the opposite color of your bad bishop. So after g4, h takes g4, bishop takes g4, g5, bishop takes c8, rook takes c8. And here, Gary played knight e3, sacrificing a bishop for, so white, the white knight can go to f5, a key square, to open the g-file for white's rooks here, to rook g1, to open the g-file and pressure black's bishop, black's king. And also, black's bishop on g7 is awful. So it's like black playing with only two minor pieces, the knight on f7 and b8 instead of three. Okay, so white can also play Bishop g3, just he can just retreat the bishop, knight h6, and h4, knight d7, planning to move the knight uh, <clears throat> closer to the black king. So knight d7, knight e3, knight f8, queen e2, preparing to castle on the queen side, a6. H takes g5, f takes g5, castle, b5, trying to open up the position. And remember when you're, keep in mind that when you're under attack, you you also want to be able to do some counterattack. Like for example here, if white takes here, at least black has some open a file. So after b5, I can play rook h2 with the idea of rook d to h1. Okay. My Apple Siri is talking to me. Uh oh. Okay. Let's just ignore it. Okay. So after knight e3, g takes h4, knight f5, queen d8. Queen g4, intending to checkmate black with king, queen takes g7. Knight g5, knight takes h4. So 
Black wanted to capture the the pawn so it can go the knight can go back to f5 and then, and then kick the the black knight on g5 with h4. Rook c7 defending the bishop on g7. Knight f5 back to the excellent outpost a6 h4 knight h7 rook g1 threatening to take the uh, bishop on g7 queen f8 king e2 rook a7 so black is focusing its forces with the uh, and trying to protect the g7 as hard as possible a4 discouraging black from playing b5 b6 queen h5 giving way to the rook so it can go to g6 followed by double on the g file king h8 rook g6 rook d7 rook a g1 rook a b7 queen g4 rook b to c7 and rook g2 so this shows the principle of do not hurry white is trying to improve its pieces first before advancing this h pawn to h6 white is not in a hurry because it's extremely difficult for black to defend the position but white can also instead of playing rook g2 white can also play h5 knight g5 rook h1 aiming to play h6 queen d8 h6 clearing the square for the bishop to retreat h6 bishop f8 rook g7 it's a brilliant move because if black takes then it opens the h file then rook h1 king here then uh, you can take the queen or go queen h6 oh queen h6 checkmate right away okay let's go back so after b5 after rook g7 black can play b5 king f1 clearing this square the e2 square so the knight can go there followed by f4 b takes f4 f4 e takes f4 knight e2 and let's say black tries to get a queen knight takes f4 with the idea of playing to knight g6 and now um, black is forced to play queen e8 then white can play queen h5 uh, trying to just land its knight to g6 to checkmate the black king okay let's go back to the actual game rook btc7 rook g2 Rook b7, king f1, clearance of the e2 square for its knight. Rook a7, king g1, rook f7, knight e2, queen c8, f4, b5, a takes b5, a takes b5, c takes b5, rook a b7, h5, knight f8, queen h3, King g8. Oops, sorry. After queen h3, black took on g6, so h takes g6 check. King g8. G takes f7, and Maya resigned. So, what are the takeaways on this example? Keep in mind that if you have a bad bishop, there are three ways you can deal with it. First, figure out how to exchange it against your opponent's pieces. Second is move it out of your pawn chain. And the third way is to move your pawns on the opposite color of, color of your bad bishop. In this game, Gary was able to move it out of the pawn chain and exchange its light squared bishops against black's good bishop. It is possible to sacrifice a whole piece in exchange of being able to place your piece in a, one, in a powerful outpost in this example, a bishop sacrificed for a knight outpost on f5 in an open g-file. Sometimes you can apply the principle of do not hurry. This is when you have an advantage in when you, when you are not in a hurry to do a certain break or a pawn push, an attack, etc. against your opponent because it is extremely difficult for your opponent to defend its position. Instead of acting quickly, you could improve your pieces first before delivering the decisive blow. 
Do not forget to press the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment on when you th what you think about the presentation. Share it to your friends, and you can also review this annotated game at theleechess.org that I posted on the link below. Thank you for watching, and please come back again for the next show.